Montana, big sky country, the treasure state. People got a lot of names for it. I just call it home. I lived here my whole life. Still amazed at how beautiful it is. Maybe that's what blinded us to how ugly the people were getting. Good day to you, brother. You don't understand. No one took these groups seriously. They were different. Religious, militant, I mean, it was a goddamn cult. Collapse is upon us, my children. They started buying up every farm for miles. Then the radio station. Not long after that, they even had the fucking cops. Their own sovereign religious state, built right here, under our noses. Ain't no one coming to help us. The government can't do shit. We're on our own. Friends, we save those lost souls, whether they want to be saved or not. People don't want to believe groups like this exist. People are scared, man. Some will wish to harm us. Some will wish to destroy all that we have built here together. Some will betray us. We don't know what he's capable of. Ow. Who? Their leader. Joseph Seed. They call him the Father. And those in the outside world are blind. They do not believe. They have no faith. 
but I will make them see. Hey, Rookie. Rookie. You're wasting your time. There's no signal out here. Crossing over the hand bane now. How much longer? And just long enough for you to change your mind. So we can turn this bird around. You want me to ignore a federal warrant, Sheriff? No, sir. I want you to understand the reality of this situation. Joseph Sage, he's not a man to be fucked with. We've had run-ins with him before. They haven't always gone our way. Just sometimes. Sometimes it's best to leave well enough alone. Yeah, well, we have laws for a reason, Sheriff, and Joseph Seed's gonna learn that. Pratt, open a call with dispatch. 10-4. White horse to dispatch, over. Corrado. We're approaching the compound, Nancy. Over. Roger, Sheriff. You still plan to go through with this? Over. We are. Unfortunately, still trying to talk some sense in our friend, the Marshal. Over. All right. Lucky I'm not there. Get into any trouble, you just let me know. Over. Ten four, over and on. Maybe we should have brought Nancy along with us instead of the Proby. These Peggies wouldn't fuck with her. Pratt. Why do you keep calling them Peggies? Project at Eden's Gate. P.E.G. Peggies is what the locals call them. You know, they started off harmless enough a few years back, but now they are armed to the teeth. You know, they're looking for a fight. Are you scared, Sheriff? We're here. Compound's just below. <sighs> oh, my Jesus. This is a bad idea. Last chance, Marshal. <sighs> We're going in. Roger that. Dispatch, you still there? Yes, go ahead, Sheriff. You don't hear from us in 15 minutes. Send in everyone. Call the goddamn National Guard if you have to. Over. Yes, sir, Sheriff. I'll be praying for you. Now listen up. Three rules, stick close, keep your guns in your holsters, and let me do the talk. Got it? Got it. Rookie! All right, everyone. Stay sharp. Let's go! You'll be in the church. Stick close. Eyes open. These folks can smoke easily. Rook, I mean, stay loose, huh? I know. Be calm. Stay calm, everyone. Just go about your business. This doesn't concern you. Everything's fine, Nancy. It's just fine. Jesus Christ. You're wearing badges, aren't you? Yeah, but they don't respect badges much. They'll respect a 9mm. Not every problem can be solved with a bullet, Marshal. Relax, Sheriff. 
You're about to get your name in the paper. You'll be fine. Something is coming. You can feel it, can you? We are creeping toward the edge. And there will be a reckoning. That is why we started the project. Because we know what happens next. They will come. They will try to take from us. Take our guns. Take our freedom. Take our faith. We will not let them. Sheriff, come on. Hold on we will not let their greed, or their immorality, or their depravity hurt us anymore. Sheriff. Sure. There will be no more suffering. Oh, Joseph C. I have a warrant issued for your arrest on the suspicion of kidnapping with the intent to harm. Now, I want you to step forward and keep your hands where I can see them. There they are. The locusts in our garden. See, they've come for me. They've come to take me away from you. They've come to destroy all that we've built! Do not touch that service Hold on and don't stand down! Stand down! Everyone calm down! Everyone calm down! We knew this moment would come. We've prepared for it. Go. Go. God will not let them take me. I saw when the Lamb opened the first seal, and I heard, as it were the noise of thunder, one of the four beasts say, Come and see! Step forward. And I saw. And behold,
God wouldn't let you take me. Everything is just fine here. I don't need to call anyone. Yes, Father. Praise be to you. No one is coming to save you. Everything is unfolding according to God's plan. I am still here with you. The first seal has been broken. The collapse has begun. And we will take what we need. And we will preserve what we have. And we will kill all those who stand in our way. And these, the harbingers of doom, will see the truth. Begin the refit! We gotta get out of here. Come on! Come on! Come on!
Jesus Christ. Rook, I'm sorry. I thought they got you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Check the room, Rook. Oh, Jesus. I had no idea. Fuck. We're putting this whole family away. All of them. Fucking lunatics. We're gonna get out of this, rookie. First things first, gotta arm ourselves. Here. All right, here's what we're gonna do. There's a road out there. We're gonna take it, we're gonna head northeast. It's probably only a few hours back to Missoula. And then, we're gonna come back here with a goddamn National Guard, and we're gonna take out the rest of these Okay, shh.
Sadhu has arrived. Everything I told you has come true. The authorities who tried to take me from you are now in the loving embrace of my family. Safe for one. that shit means? It means the roads have all been closed. It means the phone lines have been cut. It means there's no signals getting in and out of this valley. But mostly it means we're all fucked. Goddamn collapse. They all think the world's coming to an end now. They've been waiting for it, for years. Waiting for somebody to, to come along and fulfill their prophecy and kick off their goddamn holy war. Well, you sure as shit kicked. <sighs> Smartest thing for me to do would just be to hand you over. Fuck. Get out of that uniform. We need to burn it. There's some fresh clothes there. When you get changed, you come and see me. We'll see if we can unfuck this situation.
I didn't properly introduce myself back there. Most folks call me Dutch. I've been trying to piece together what's happening up top. It ain't good. Little I can gather is that your partners are alive. For now. Seems they've been split up. Each one handed off to a different member of Joseph's family. You want them back, I get it, I get it. I got friends that have been taken too. Problem is... There ain't no help coming. Nobody knows what's going on here, and they won't know until it's too late. There's got to be people out there willing to fight back against this cult. We just, we need to show them how. We need to build us a resistance. So the first thing we're going to do is get control of this island. Once we got some breathing room, we can figure out what's coming next. There's a gun and a map in the safe over there. Take them. I'll give you a call on your radio once you get your bearings. Be careful out there. It's crawling with Peggy's. Those fuckers are willing to die for that psychopath that's leading them. I knew Joseph Seed was bad business when he wormed his way in here a few years back. I imagine the fucking mainstream media would paint us as two sides of the same coin. Because they're either lazy or corrupt or both. But to me, it's simple. I'm willing to sacrifice everything for my family. While Joseph Seed wants to burn down the world for his.
second. You can destroy Eden's Gate property that's all over the place now. Hell, they built two goddamn shrines on this island alone. Third, you can tackle resistance missions. There are a lot of folks out there waging their own war against this cult. And they could sure use your help. And last, if you're really looking for a fight, you can take on the cult outposts that have popped up across the county. Liberating those places will give the Resistance solid footholds to push back against Eden's Gate. I've got cameras set up all over this island. I'll keep an eye out for anything useful. For now, head south and take out any culture you see. And help any folks in need, would you? Dutch out. what you know. These loony fanatics are out of control. If you want to protect yourself, I think there's a prepper stash near the boathouse. Should have some good gear squared away. Squirrels got back in the garage. Sneaky bastards. That was too close. Thanks.
make a bigger impression, you may want to build some dynamite. Luckily, folks around here have been stockpiling all the materials you might need. Have them up. Get crafting. I can't thank you enough.
Just let him get away. Bloody <laughs> out of that one. Thank God you came along. <laughs> I've got a bone to pick with that cult. Seriously, thank you.
what you're thinking, and no. I ain't gonna have you climbing towers all over the county for me, so don't worry. Also, try not to fall from up there. Centers. Every one of us. You, me. <laughs> Even the father knows deeply of sin. It's a poison that clouds our minds. What if I told you you could be free from sin? What if I told you that everything you ever dreamed could come true? What if I told you that everything could be overcome if you embraced an idea? freedom from sin can come from the power of just one word. Watching this, know that you have been selected. You will be cleansed, you will confess your sins, and you will be offered atonement. Don't worry. You don't have to do anything. We'll come for you. Welcome to Eden's Gate. Hey, kid. I'm 
provide three locations to your map to get you started. Lumber Mill up north, the Hope County Jail to the east, and the town of Falls End to the west. Now it's your call, but if I were you, I'd start with Falls End. I've heard a dog barking out at Ray Ray's for the past few hours. It's got to be Boomer. Something ain't right because he's usually so quiet. You know, I can teach you a life lesson, if you're interested. Fishing brings a body peace like nothing else. And don't we ever need peace in times like these? You'd be a fool not to take advantage of the fishing around these parts. Having a moment just to yourself in all this craziness, well, it's good for the soul. It's important not to lose sight of what is and isn't worth fighting for. The way I see it, the biggest problem these days all stem from the fact that most people don't stop and think before they act. Not every problem is solved with a bullet, you know. Anyway, that's just my two cents. If you need any gear or bait or the like, I can set you up. People who can live off the land don't need to dig holes in the ground.
Please, uh, uh, I could kiss you. After the shit went down, I heard Merle took his. Somebody help me! After the shit went down, I heard Merle took his truck over to Silver Lake Trailer Park. Duke can hold his own in a fight, but I'm worried he's gonna get in over his head. It's gonna take more than that to put me down. Damp, if you find yourself running low on funds, the best way to make a quick buck is to go hunting. There's a lot of folks out there who'll pay good money for me and scans. So you're okay in my books. We'd all starve if it was up to the cult. Gotta know how to hunt your own food. If you're buying, I'm selling. Gotta keep an eye out for Peggy's. They come near me, they're as good as dead. You don't do a lot of hunting, do you? If I were you, I'd start. The way things are going, you're gonna need to get by on your own. You got the look of a hunter in your eye. That's good. The way things are going, you gotta be able to fend for yourself. This fucking cult. Everyone rolled their eyes when they talked about the end of the world. But look around. Might as well be true. Rule of law is dead and gone. There ain't nobody protecting us anymore, so we gotta do it ourselves. Only thing that matters is staying alive and staying fed. Now, I got a few things for sale if you're interested. Ammo, gear, useful stuff in times like these. And if you got any animal skins, I'll pay good money for them. Saves me time from going out myself. World's a dangerous place now. If you see any of those fucking Peggies, you put them down without a second thought.
the power of yes.
am I supposed to get out of this damn road? Got a job for you. All this ripe fruit is attracting bears. Under normal circumstances, we try and catch them and release them somewhere safer. But these bears got into some of that bliss crap the cult has stored out back. It's making them act all crazy. It's too dangerous to catch them. We gotta put them down. John sends the Chosen in those awful planes. Paul's end is screwed. Everything John takes gets stockpiled in his bunker.
Oh, <laughs> 
Mary Mays busted her ass to hold Falls End together. But I don't know how much... John's a bona fide nut job. I heard after the baptisms, he makes jerky out of your flesh to last through their collapse. Thank. Let the Peggies get their hands on me. Trust me. into this guy out by the lookout tower who says he's on a patriotic tour of America. It's like he didn't even give a shit that the cult was around. If he's not careful, he's gonna get caught.
so much. We stole some shit from the Peggies and stashed it in the supports of the rail bridge. It's a bitch to get to, but if you got a grappling hook, there's some good stuff waiting for you. John's got Deputy Hudson. We gotta save him. your attorney. Listen, I don't know where this John C. guy went to law school, but he's got us. He got you coming and going. Everyone I know who got marked is taken. Be careful. You know, you can hear the cultists banging away at the rail yard. Continuing to rise in Montana, though at a slower rate than most of the rest of the country. 
If we can improve on that trend, it'll be. Thanks, Deputy. I thought I was a dead man. I'd be six feet under if you didn't save me. Thanks.
won't force Cullen Dodd to close down his garbage disposal. Please.
He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain. Sisters, someone out there is not playing by the rules. Someone is taking from us, stealing what rightfully belongs to the Father. They are a murderer and a coward. But God sees them, and God will guide us to them. They will be found, and they will be punished. This is the will of the Father. Can't thank you enough for getting <laughs> Everyone in town owes you a beer or two, or five. Time for the party. Even in the darkest of times, there's always a bit of light. Good timing, Deputy. We need to talk. Anything can happen in life, but two things stay the same. Breathe Solitude. It ain't perfection, but 
Hell, sometimes being prepared is about cutting your losses. You watch your back, you hear? Thanks a million. I heard there was a guy who claims he built a teleporter, but he lives in a dump, so it's gotta be bullshit, right? I don't know. Might be worth checking out. Felt better think twice about messing with you. Important parts of the warrior spirit. You know what this town needs? Falls. I'm dead serious. Falls Anne's annual testicle festival is a decades old tradition. The testy festi is one of the few times the community comes together for what makes them happiest scarfing down cowboy caviar. This town needs a morale boost. And if stuffing Rocky Mountain oysters down your gullet don't put a smile on your face, then I don't know what could. 
problem is, the festival's been postponed because of the goddamn cult. Now, I am not going down as the cook who failed to serve up huevos with a side of happiness. We're gonna do this. But first, we need to get the testy festy supplies out of storage. A young fella named Kenny's got them all locked up for me at the old barn. I'll start getting set up. You head over and get those supplies. Thanks a million. I could play this game all day. Get me in. Ha. You! Over here! Yes, you! 
Anne sent you, right? Good. Help me. said there'd be help soon. Your timing is not a coincidence. Ne ne never mind this cult nonsense. I it's a pointless distraction. You and I, we have more important things to do. Two words, imminent threat. Uh, uh, two more words, global catastrophe. I, I, I can't say more. They're listening. Denying the call to adventure, eh? You're really going for this hero's journey thing, aren't, aren't you? <laughs> As I was saying, I, I, I can't say more. You're listening. Where are you going? Yes. Ha! Not this time. Larry Parker won. Otherworldly scum zero.
the tower! You must like trouble. Name's Grace. Got word someone was out making life miserable for the cult. You got good timing. See those graves down there? A couple war heroes buried here. My pops was one of them. The Peggy's are trying to defile them. They're trying to erase our history. Demoralize us. Get us to break so we'll roll over. <laughs> Not on my fucking watch. Ain't nobody gonna touch my pop's grave while I'm still breathing. I'm a good shot, but I need someone to watch my back. They'll be here any second. Check southeast. We're bottled up here. Give me some space and give them another fuck. We need to spread out. Got a second? I owe you. Not a lot of people would have stuck their neck out like that. It means a lot to me. My pops always said, as long as we keep believing in each other, there's still hope. If we stick together, look out for one another, 
cult will never break us. <laughs> I ain't about to get all sappy and shit. But if you ever need help, give me a call. I got your back. not for us to judge. Deliver them onto the waters. The cleansing begins tonight. sin prevent that. Bring that one to me. Despite all that you have done, you are not beyond salvation. You're not here by accident or by chance. You are here by the grace of God. You've been given a gift. Now it remains to be seen whether you choose to embrace it. Or to cast it aside. This one shall reach the atonement. While the gates of Eden shall be shut to your charge. You will confess every sin you've ever committed, no matter how petty, no matter how small, I will pull from you. 
Then we'll see if you're worthy of atonement. If we just confess, if we confess right away, we'll be okay, right? No. You'll make it worse. Why? Because confession without pain isn't confession. You'll scream out your sin, then you'll wear it on your flesh before John peels it off you. It's a beautiful thing. Fucking Peggy's. Show them no mercy. Stay with me. Didn't go through all this trouble just to lose you now. Makes a man feel real alive. Over here, deputy. Come here. I have a plan. Deputy. I knew it meant trouble when we couldn't reach you. I'm glad the Lord pointed me in the right direction. We got you back. 
But there's still others that need our help. Cult's moving the rest of the prisoners up the road. They got Merle, too. Time's wasting. Grab what you can and go save them. I'll call in some of our people. We're gonna need them if we're gonna pull this off. Whoever is generous to the poor lends to the Lord. That's we gotta get side. him! Can't leave Merle behind! Cover me! I'll cover you! Let's get him, please! Oh yeah, I'm with you! next door goes to bed hungry. How is it that the fat politician in his guilty office can dictate to the starving father?
friend, but Fall's End was just a piece of the whole community that needs our help. Once we're strong enough, we'll free every last one of those prisoners. That's a promise. They really think they're saving us. Saving us! Locked up in a shithole? Get out of here! Those fucking cowards swore me. They said they were saving me. Told me to put my trust in the father. Who the fuck's the father anyway? They should have put a bullet in my head. I was pissed off. Now I'm fucking furious. Rumor has it that each member of the Seed family has their own bunker. John's has to be somewhere in the Soon enough, that sign out there in the hills ain't gonna hold much weight. Pastor Jerome called us in to make sure... I never.